About 30% of multi-step crypto transactions don't go as planned, which is way too high, especially for institutions that require reliability. When you try to do multiple things at once, like moving funds, trigger a payment, and then record something on chain, when one step fails, it can leave your money or logic in a strange and kind of broken state. To address some of the issues that people face with complex flows, the XRP ledger has an amendment called XLS56. It's designed to tackle failure points directly and ensure transactions actually go through. Here's how it works. It lets you batch up to eight transactions together and run them with rules. So instead of hoping that everything works, you can actually set the logic. For example, you can say if A and B and C succeed, cool, go ahead. If not, don't do anything. It's basically programmable logic built straight into the ledger. No extra code, no off-chain workarounds, no expensive dev teams writing custom scripts just to keep things running. The developers behind it have been debating on how to build this since 2019, and now it's here with four different ways to batch your transactions. First is atomic mode, which is all or nothing. Everything in the batch goes through or nothing does. It's perfect when you need things to be airtight. Think about things like sending a payment, updating a record, and locking in a smart contract. If one part fails, it all rolls back. The second method is first successful mode, or only one. It tries each transaction in the batch and then stops as soon as one works. It's great for backups, like if you want to pay a bill but have three wallets with different balances, it'll cycle through those until one hits. You could use things like this for secondary payment methods for a subscription system. Super useful. Third is stop on failure mode, or until failure. It runs transactions in order until something breaks. This is really useful when steps depend on each other. You can think about a sequence of approvals or moving money in phases. As soon as one doesn't work, it halts the rest. And then fourth is independent mode. All eight transactions go through individually, whether they succeed or not. This is ideal when you want to attempt everything but don't need it to be linked. For multi-party settlement, transaction logging, or just testing stuff out, this is the ideal mode. Before XLS56, doing this kind of logic meant building some kind of clunky off-chain system or paying someone a whole lot of money to duct tape a solution together. Now with this amendment, it's native to the XRP ledger. And this opens up doors to all kinds of new use cases, stuff that really just wasn't possible before. Things like automated trading systems, escrow agreements that self-enforce, and decentralized insurance that pays out when certain conditions are met. One developer built out a full conditional insurance payout system, and they did it in just a couple hundred lines of code. It's pretty wild. What makes this even better is you won't have to sign eight separate transactions anymore. You can sign once or twice if multiple accounts are involved, and then the system handles the rest. Just that feature alone saves a whole bunch of time and makes for a way smoother experience. And it's also a lot less chance of user error. The developments we're seeing in crypto aren't just about speed. It's about doing things a lot smarter. And XLS56 is a big step in that direction.